All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be doing some quick summons on this weekend ticket banner here that I honestly completely forgot about. You know, like with all this five year stuff going on with, uh, you know, my mind on like Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito and all that stuff. I literally did not remember that this was actually a thing. And if you guys are in the same boat, or if you guys forgot as well, make sure you do your summons as quickly as possible because I'm pretty sure this banner goes away in like a day or two. And even though it's not that exciting of a banner, you don't want to miss out on some potential free summons and more importantly, potential free LRs. All right, now not all of the LRs are here, but I believe we have the OG five LRs as well as the five that came after. So Beerus, uh, Bardock, Mighty Mask, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and also, oh, who am I forgetting? Um, Man, who am I disrespecting right now? There's one more, it's one more. Mighty Mask, Beerus, Bardock, uh, Super Saiyan 3, and Bojack, Bojack, my bad, yo. No hate to my boy Bojack, he's great. Just uh, forgot about him for a second. Okay, anyways. We're gonna do the summons. There are six multis worth of tickets. If you guys wanna join me in these summons, feel free. Uh, I mean, actually, unless you have the tickets, don't summon on anything else, all right? Don't summon on this banner, don't summon on this banner, don't summon on, you know, this banner. Just save your stones, just watch me summon, and hopefully, you know, hopefully get shafted, because if I get shafted, then we're still saving that luck for five year, right? But if I get lucky here, then it's like we're using that reserve of luck that could potentially be used on the five-year banners. So I'm actually hoping to pull nothing here. That would be best. If we pull an LR here, could you imagine like how upsetting that would be? Because like that LR that I pull here, right? Even if it's like an LR Bardock, which I actually don't have, right? I don't have Bardock. So that's actually pretty hype. But if I pull an LR Bardock, that, that prevents me from pulling Gogeta or Vegito. Not worth it, man. Not a good trade-off. So hopefully we pull six Maltese, worth the garbage, then move on with our lives. But either way, I did want to make sure I got this out of the way. So this should be a pretty quick video. And yeah, so far so good. Nothing in the first multi. Am I using a little bit of reverse psychology on Bandai to like still kind of pull something good? Maybe, maybe. I wouldn't mind an LR Bardock or actually a dupe of any, any of the other guys except for STR Broly and Int Gohan. I really don't want those guys. I've pulled plenty of Broly's. Actually, no, you know what? I could still use STR Broly for the TUR. I think my TUR Broly has two dupes right now, so I could use that. But for Int Gohan, you can't even use his TUR form, right? So, like, he's literally just useless. You literally unusable. So, I will take a Broly. I will. Oh, there we go. Okay, first SSR of the video. All right. All right. I can't use him. But that, that's fine. Actually, you know what? I haven't checked the featured units. I'm not really sure what we got here. Okay, so he's done. He's done. She's done. He... I could use dupes for Gawasu. Okay, I, I could take him. He's done. Uh, He's actually duped out as well. She's duped out. And a couple of SRs. Okay, so yeah. Very, very... You know, un, unexciting banner. Is that the right word? Very... Meh banner for me, but still there's always the chance, right? Even though it's very low, the LRs are in there. I've seen people pull them. I've had buddies send me pictures of like two LRs, you know, in like one multi before, right? From these banners, I think it was in the past. It was like a couple banners ago, but either way, it's always possible. I'm, I'm not expecting anything. I'm hoping not to get anything once again, because we don't want to use up that luck. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, like, is there really like a, reserve of luck like does everybody get a finite amount of luck probably not but i am a little bit superstitious so i'd rather just you know feel at ease going into the anniversary not having pulled an lr you know right before it and just just ensure that i get these blue fusions man that's all i care about like i don't care about pulling a dupe for goku black right now or pulling an lr trunks dupe or whatever like that'd be cool that'd be fine but it's it's better we stay shafted for now. It's better we stay shafted for now. But speaking of reserve of luck, man, if there really was a reserve of luck, all right, then 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 Nano is definitely stealing everybody else's luck. Okay, he's like draining everybody else's pool of luck because this man just never runs out. 
All right, if everybody has finite luck, then he's he's doing something, because <laughs> you would think based on their summons that this man is draining all of Truth's luck because the dynamic between the two guys is always the, always the same, right? For those of you that, that watch both of these uh, of these YouTubers, right, Nano and Truth, don't you find it odd that Truth always gets crazy, crazy unlucky? Like 90% of the time, like he does get, you know, blessed sometimes. Ooh, okay, cool. Um, he does get blessed every once in a while, but it's very rare. And then Nano almost always gets crazy, crazy lucky. And it's always like that. If you look at their videos, their thumbnails that are like posted one after another, it's always like crazy shafted already for truth. And then for Nano, it's like, I pulled how many LR Gokus, you know, like <laughs> it's so, I mean, it's kind of sad for, for truth, but it's just so funny, man, when I always see the thumbnails, the titles pop up, and it's always that di that dynamic between the two. Now, I'm not gonna get into whether or not I think that there's rigged rates, all right, because I, I don't know, all right, I really, I really don't, and I would like to think that there isn't, but I don't think there's a 100% foolproof way to, to, to uh, what's the word? To prove, to prove that there is nothing fishy going on. And statistically, it's very unlikely that Truth would get shafted this badly, especially for multiple banners. But it is always like it is always possible, right? It is always possible that he is just very unlucky, and that's that's why he's you know not pulling the Goku and uh, Vegeta or other units he's been shafted for in the past. But is is there always a chance that something weird is going on? I mean, maybe. Him and Nolar too, right? Nolar has been getting crazy shafted. Uh, like before I saw it start this video, I saw on Twitter he said he spent 12,000 stones. 12,000 stones! That's more than most players spend in a year, alright? Maybe two years. 12,000 stones and pulled two copies of Goku and Vegeta on JP, so... I don't know, man. Like something, something weird must be going on. Or, or actually, no, you know what? Not must, but could be going on. Could be. I don't know though, because I have no information about that. I have no insight, so we're just talking. Anyways, uh, we spent our tickets, got trash, so I guess it would have been okay if I actually forgot about it, but uh, at least we got out of the way, got a couple of uh, fodder units I can use for the new Kefla once that comes out, and uh, maybe a new Sin Shenron. I did predict that we're getting a transforming Sin Shenron into Omega, so that would be dope. Or, uh, you know, the next download celebration, go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. And you know what, before we go, let me do a few summons on the World Tournament banners, because I haven't summoned on those in a while. As you can see, we got a lot of guaranteed SSR stuff. Uh, hmm, nothing new here, but I actually do need a few of the, uh, few of the World Tournament units. Let's see, okay, so I don't think I have Wait, I do have these guys. Are the Kale and Khalifla featured as well? They might be. So I need dupes of those girls. Hmm. Uh, Tian Chi Chi. Oh, they're not here. What the heck? Maybe it's because it was too recent or something like that. All right, you know what? Forget that. Then I'll save it. I'll uh, do a few of these gold DB Saga tickets. I do need dupes for almost everybody on the banner. So be cool to get a few SSRs here. You know, I'll spend like five tickets, man. Like, you know, you know what's stupid? There's no multi summon function, no no multi summon option on these banners. Like, why? Why is why is that? Why is that? Why do you have to make me do singles the entire way? Like, if it was singles on a banner with like units I actually was excited for, that'd be a different story, you know. But it's freaking DB Saga, man. Like, they could just let us do a multi, you know, get it out of the way. But instead, I have to do like a hundred summons. In singles and that's why I haven't summoning on these banners man because it's like so tedious it's like work it's work to summon on these banners and I, I, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that loves singles you know like I, I haven't really been doing singles ever since the GSSR feature came out but uh, I still love doing singles like there were videos back in the day Ooh, Super Saiyan 3 okay so uh, back in the day I would do videos of just singles number one because oh sick I had him, but that is, I think, my first dupe. And he actually gets a really good awakening, so that's uh, that's pretty sick, man. Yo, if you guys don't know, this dude, after his awakening, he gets 120% attack and defense, 
and then he gets a guaranteed hit um, when he's super attacking, and then he gets attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 80%. So very, very solid raising attack on a super, and also with a medium chance to stun the enemy. All these, uh, all these DB Saga units actually with their awakenings get really, really good passives. The only reason they're not like busted is because um, their their stats are not very good. They're kind of like free to play stats, right? But it's not really too surprising. Uh, either way, I'm happy with that pull. I think we're gonna do one more. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go until we get one more SSR. One more SSR, and then I'm good. I mean, one SSR in the first three tickets, that's, that's solid. I'm sure you guys are not <laughs> super excited to see this. So if you guys wanna go, I understand. All right, this is pretty much the end of the video. It was mostly for the weekend summons, but I want to do a few of these world tournament summons just think just just for fun. But uh, yeah, guys, this is pretty much the calm before the storm before <laughs> calm before the storm of the five year anniversary. Which at this point, as I'm filming this video, is literally ooh three days away, three days away. And then the banners for Vegito and Gogeta are two days after, so five days away from the duel blue fusions good luck to everybody that plans the summon which i think is most people not everybody because i know some people are not huge fans of the fusions which baffles my mind a little bit just as a db like a dragon ball fan it doesn't make a ton of sense to me but I, those people are out there and I, I i'm not judging i'm not i'm not hating it just doesn't make a ton of sense to me maybe you guys can explain to me man yo if there's anybody out there who is skipping because they don't like Vegito or gogeta or both why why unless those people that told me that were just trolls maybe they're just trolls i don't know man i've, I've had people told me tell me though on streams and stuff like that they're like i'm skipping i just don't like those guys and they seem pretty serious about it so i don't know what to think anymore anyways uh maybe we'll just keep going until i get to 20 gold tickets because this could take a while and we can't really get a fusion so vegeta doesn't really do it for me all the first second i still thought we we're gonna get a fusion just because it was like, it was like there was like a brief pause, it was like a very, very brief pause. Oh, devil, man! Yo, we got the best unit in the game. He's so OP that this man is actually blocked from a ton of events. True story. All right, he used to be like people used to use him for like extreme Z battle because uh, he has the ability to nuke the stages, right? So like, if you don't have the right units, don't have the right categories, people could still beat up to level thirty. Just by new king with devil man. Oh, yo, clutch SSR on the 10th ticket. And then after they started banning him. Oh, that's sick. Um, I think he's actually done. I think he is, but yeah, I'll take it. All right. So yeah, basically they they, they bait blocked him from, from these events and like also like new king events and stuff like that because it was just too OP, man. Like when, when his active, when his passive skill procced, when it activated, he was doing like stupid damage, it was like one-shotting everything, so even though it's a 1% chance, people were still like desperate enough to use him, and then Banna was like, nah, nah, we want you to pull the new units you need, the new leader skill you need to actually beat these events, and Devilman is blocking us from making that money, so we're gonna block him from actually entering the uh, events, alright, so I guess quick Dokkan history trivia fact right there, most of you guys probably knew, but I guess newer players are not aware. Anyways, that is today's video, guys. That is, uh, those are the summons. We got, uh, what did we get? We got some, what am I doing? We got a few things, nothing really that useful aside from the Cyborg Tau, but I'll take it, he's good. And some of these other guys will become dupes, or not dupes, will become Kai's in the future. So not completely, completely useless, but for now, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Once again, reminder, use your tickets, all right? Because the banner is going away very, very soon. I think, I think on the 5th or 6th, but just as soon as you can. All right, as soon as you watch this video, if you realize, oh crap, I forgot my tickets, do them right now. Good luck, all right? So that's the, that's the video for the last time. I think I've said that like three times already. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are hyped for the five year anniversary. Tons of content coming. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so 
that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.